All right, let's try the Honeywell H910 plus NIOSH N95. Now, no packaging, David, but I guess you didn't want to send me the whole box of this. I can't really complain. You've hooked us up so much. Okay, so we tested the DF610 in the past, which was the Mexican version, and this is the Chinese version now. And we will let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the N95 test on this Honeywell H91 Plus, the Chinese version of this Honeywell mask. Uh, looks to be like a legitimate N95. It's got the lot number, which is an optional feature. Uh, it says Honeywell, it's got the model number and uh, the TC number right on there. So I would guess this is gonna pass. We've got, you know, NIOSH is really good about policing manufacturers. So I'm gonna try this on, even though it was bare in the box. I'm gonna trust, trust Dr. David He's not trying to kill me. Wow, great, great donning job, Lloyd. Oh, interesting. Oh, I did it backwards. Oh, come on, man. Wow. Okay. <laughs> did a horrible job putting that mask on. I'm gonna do it the incorrect way. There we go. <laughs> That is a good fit. Great seal. This is the can, uh, can 95 style with the head straps. I'm gonna call this smell an empty FedEx box because that's what it smells like. It's not as breathable as the 3M, but it's a really good fit and seal. I like the, uh, oh boy, Whew. I like the, uh, need a haircut, uh, the nose wires actually pretty good and the nose foam is very comfortable i wish we could get nose foam like this in the u.s all right what does that matter if it doesn't protect you 99.2 five 107.7 pascals i think uh there was a 3m k95 that did almost exactly 107 so it's pretty good